Let's go ahead and make a complete example from start to finish with some of the things we've worked on thus far. I'm going to go to File and New Notebook. Let's make a table. I don't know how to make a table in Mathematica yet, so I'm going to use the equal sign under the Cell Insertion Assistant. I'm going to say, I want to make a table of A squared, where A equals 1 to 10. Hit Shift Enter and see what Mathematica gives me back. What's going to happen? Again, this takes this free form input, sends it to the Wolfram server, and the Wolfram server is able to translate that to Mathematica language uh, of table of A squared, where A goes from 1 to 10, and gives me a set of data back. Let's click on the input. Let's uh, replace this cell with input so I can change this to 20 or 30. It's pretty simple to do that. I'm going to go ahead and make this variable assignment as well. Let's call this data1 equals, uh, hit shift enter again, and now I've got a variable for this going forward. Now I'm going to plot the data. Let's go ahead and make a new subsection. We'll call this plot the data. Hit the down arrow key to make a new horizontal line. Let's, let's call a variable LP data one for a list plot of data one. In Mathematica, the function name is list plot. So I'm going to say list plot, uh, open square bracket, data one, close square bracket. Now I have that data back in a nice graphic. So let's fit the data. Hit Alt five to make a new subsection. We'll call this fit the data. Hit the down arrow key to make a new line and we'll call this fit data one uh, as the variable equals and we'll use the fit function to fit data one. We'll fit it linearly, so uh, one comma x with respect to x as the variable and now I've got that function that is fitted around fit of data one. So now I can plot it. We'll go to the cell insertion assistant, go to other style of text, we're going to do a subsection again, which is another means of making this subsection. And I'll call this plot the fit. Hit the down arrow key, and I'll call this plot fit data one. And we'll say plot fit data one, and we'll say x goes from one to 20. And now I have that fit plotted as well. Remember how to combine the graphics, hit the down arrow key, and make one more subsection with Alt-5. Uh, we're going to combine the graphics. And I do so with the function show. So I'm going to say show. Let's go back up here and use this LP data one, and we'll show um, plot fit data one. I'll just copy and paste this square brackets, and there is the original data with that fit then plotted together. We can go up to the top and make a title for this thing. So this is my complete example. If I should type without making uh, that title cell, it's no problem. I can go to format style and then change it to a title afterwards. I can hit these subsections that I made. Maybe I want to make them uh, sections instead. So I've highlighted the cell of the subsection. I can hit control and click on other subsections, uh, or again, click on one subsection, hit the alt key, and it highlights all of those subsections when I click on the next one. So let's go ahead and make, uh, change that to sections instead. Remember, we make our uh, slideshow then. So we can do that next. We go to palettes and slideshow and we can pull up the palette that says, uh, I want to make a slideshow from the current document. How do I want to make the slides? Uh, with sections being the breaking point. So I'm going to insert that, view my environment as a slideshow, and now we've done a complete example, start to finish, and we have a slideshow to back up and show our data and our graphics all in one environment. So that's the end of my hands-on start presentation. My name is Cliff Hastings. My email address is cliffh at wolfram.com. If you have any questions or comments for me, please feel free to send those to me, and I will at least get you the assistance you need if I can't answer it uh, myself. All the best, and I'm sure you'll have a great time, make lots of great stuff with your start to Mathematica.